In the fast-paced world of automotive repair, time is a precious commodity. For your DIFM customers, the ability to efficiently manage time directly correlates to profitability and customer satisfaction. Each repair bay represents potential revenue, but when a vehicle occupies a bay for an extended period of time, there's an opportunity cost that comes with that. Throughput, or the rate at which vehicles are serviced and returned to their owners, is a key factor in a shop's success. High throughput means more vehicles are serviced in a given period, maximizing the utilization of each bay and each technician's time. Providing high quality repairs and maintaining high levels of service while minimizing the time each vehicle spends in the shop is a delicate balance that shops navigate day in and day out. For your DIFM customers, any tool, part, or installation technique that expedites the repair process is worth its weight in gold. This is where loaded steering knuckles come into play. The steering knuckle is an important component in the steering system as it connects the wheel and tire to the vehicle suspension while also housing the wheel hub or bearing and serving as the attachment point for various parts such as control arms, tie rods, and brakes. Typically, a vehicle has two steering knuckles, one for each of the front wheels. You or your customers might know it as a spindle, a suspension knuckle, or even a wheel carrier. Regardless of the term used, the function of the steering knuckle remains the same. It acts as a pivot point for the wheels and steering, and it connects the suspension and wheel assembly, playing a critical role in the vehicle's handling and stability. The process of replacing a steering knuckle can be time-consuming and labor-intensive. In most designs, the wheel bearing is either pressed into the steering knuckle or is part of the hub assembly that's bolted to the knuckle. To replace the steering knuckle, the wheel bearing or the entire hub assembly must be removed. For vehicles with a Gen 1 press and bearing, your DIFM customers are going to need a shop press to complete the job. If the bearing is seized in the knuckle, the time needed to do the job can really escalate. You could save your DIFM customers a lot of time by recommending a loaded steering knuckle. A loaded steering knuckle typically includes the bearing, the knuckle, and other application-specific components pre-assembled and ready for installation right out of the box. The other nice thing is a loaded knuckle assembly comes pre-pressed, so there's no need to press out the old bearing or press in the new one. A loaded steering knuckle is a viable solution when your customer is replacing a worn steering knuckle or a bad wheel bearing, especially when we're talking about press-in wheel bearings. This type of bearing can become stuck in place inside the knuckle after years of exposure to road debris, grit, and salt. In extreme cases, it could take more time and labor to remove and replace a press-in bearing versus simply replacing the entire assembly with a loaded knuckle. Because a loaded steering knuckle has everything the shop needs for a complete repair, it reduces the risk of incorrect installation and the need for specialized pressing tools. By streamlining the repair process, loaded steering knuckles not only save precious time, but also allow for a quicker turnaround, freeing up base for additional service work. This efficiency can lead to increased revenue, more satisfied customers, and a competitive edge for your DIFM customers. Thanks for watching.